Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, <clears throat> in this video, I'm going to show you how to read and write. Uh, so save and load. Um, in Visual Basic 2008. Um, I thought I already made a video about this, but I, it's in a different category. So I'll make a different video <laughs> for you guys that will uh, uh, asks it, asks me. So read. Uh, I just call it that. It actually doesn't matter because it doesn't uh, yeah doesn't infect or you know what I mean it's not different with the code so I add two, uh, one text box and one button I like that and then uh, text one uh, or the text of the form one I'm going to call read read slash write tutorial I always spell foul foul <laughs> I always spell it wrong I don't know why don't ask me but okay so the text of button 2 is going to be save and the text of button 1 is going to be load like that <clears throat> double click on the save button and type in dim uh, let's see sorry okay it's safe so dim right line as as so as new it's very important I in the previous attempt of making this tutorial I forgot the new and it was all just messed up so uh, dim right line as new don't forget the new and then system that IO that stream Right, uh, okay, IO stands for something. You will see properly a um, annotation uh, coming up <coughs> because I actually forgotten it was something with uh, yeah, never mind. So I'll just do it. Here comes the path. You see stream as system that I added stream. Um, so it will be curd there and then the text file. Oh, and don't forget that. And Curator just uh, returns the value of the application path. Um, so and then tutorial dot I know it's wrong, but okay. Okay, very important. Um, this that is the same in the load function. Otherwise, you'll get an error. Um, so then uh, uh right line dot right and then no right line actually, but okay, just right line remove there and there oh there still wrong okay and then write and then value as char so you see it will be text box one dot text text okay and then write dot close very important otherwise you get an error too I thought well load is actually quite the same so dim read as new system dot io dot stream reader not writer but reader it took me a couple of days uh, to get it in my head so I'll show you a trick later in this video and uh, you need exactly the same thing so I'll just copy that thing too because I'm lazy <laughs> so it has to be the same name because if this uh, path uh, file name does not exist it will give an error so then read now because we are read oh then text box one dot text equals to read dot read to end so you don't have to uh, for visual basic uh, six users <coughs> you don't have to use the e of e a and of and of file or something state uh, where I made a video of to uh, so you don't you just do read to end it's pretty easy uh, you also have to need to close it I thought uh, you can also do it always do it so now I go to build tutorial build solution whatever you wanna do with it now at uh, first I have to save it be, uh, because it's not existing but okay um read write tutorial bin debug and then there it is so let's see hello I hope this works um, it should be there for some some strange reasons 
reason and then remove it load will be hello too okay because this is a uh, very strange uh, I don't know why the hell it is going let's test it out like this hello and then save and let's show my yeah uh, see it's nothing there so uh, there it is well it's kinda strange but it will work uh, if you do it right <laughs> Uh, at least I think you do, do it done it right. God damn it! Ah, oh, it doesn't actually matter. So I'll just open up the read 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 write tutorial. Uh, I'll open up Visual Basic. Actually, it's Visual Studio, but it doesn't. Matter. So let's see. You're too lazy and don't get the point of. You don't get how to use it. So uh, I made something really cool, especially for you. So you have to download it. I'll provide a link and stuff like that in the description. So you go to project and then add reference, and then when it's popped up, you select the uh, tab bras. Uh, I know it's pretty slow. You see, it's now it's .net, but we have to go to bras, and then let's see. I've got it something on my desktop even um, I call it support support library because it's actually supporting kind of like new uh, people so before the public class started so not any class but I'm going to type imports and then you see uh, support library that's the only thing you need uh, and then write oh. <coughs> you go to save and then write see right and you have right line and right wait a second it's not the uh, right um wait a second just dim something like support li library library you can also give it another name as new support library dot full library maybe we have to do this here thing full library uh, right no it's not yeah oh <laughs> lol so just forgotten you can also do it like that and then use support library dot write or something like that <coughs> it actually doesn't matter so you can write and then uh, it will ask you for the path as string so it's kinda like self explaining so actually the same you can also have read and re you've read all so it will read actually everything something that is uh, in this so it's the path so blah 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 a very cool path I think and then you see the error message and this is an optional value so you don't have to fill it in so when I do it like this there won't be an error uh, I know there so text the box one dot text e equals to read all so now there will be an error but okay it doesn't actually matter we have support library dot read all so it will be gone and when you, you can just add something in a string is very important um, so it's default set it as path, file path does not exist so it will return that in the textbook you also have um, registry stuff and stuff so you have a couple of cool things in the um, in the support library. <coughs> I'll write down a full list of all the functions that it has. The current release version is version one point uh, yeah one point one point zero. So maybe there will be a couple of new releases and yeah. So uh, thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe, or email me. My email address is g n b g a b n k at gmail dot com. Pretty hard to remember, but I'll provide in the uh, how do you call it uh, the video description. Um, so so I'll provide um, the. Uh, the support library in the description too so uh, thanks for watching this tutorial and yeah thanks again and I'll catch you later